Let's talk about the MVC pattern and how it works in Laravel. MVC stands for Model View Controller and it represents architecture that separates the data and business logic from the presentation. This is uh, the basic representation of the MVC pattern as you can see here. Model's job is to handle business logic. It manages the data of the application. It can process and store data that could be stored in a database or any other data structure or storage system. So basically, Model is all about business logic, data, and data management of the application. Model usually communicates with controller, but in some cases, depending on how MVC is implemented, Model could communicate with view as well. In Laravel, the model is the heart of your application's business logic. It's responsible for managing the data, queries, and business rules. Essentially, the model represents your data structures and handles the data interaction, usually with database like MySQL. Laravel uses an ORM called Eloquent, which uh, nicely abstracts away the database interactions using active record pattern, and we'll cover that in more detail a bit later. Next up, we have the view. View is all about the presentation. This is essentially what the user sees and interacts with. It's got the HTML for its markup, maybe some JavaScript and CSS, and so on. In Laravel, views are typically built using the Blade templating engine, which is a pretty powerful tool. It allows us to work with typical PHP code within the HTML, but brings in more convenience and functionality. And finally, the controller sits in the middle between the presentation layer uh, or the views and the models. It handles user requests, processes them by talking to models, and then sends the data back to the browser by loading a view. It's where you write logic that essentially handles user input and interaction. So at a high level, when a user performs an action like submits a form, the request is captured by Laravel's router. The router then directs it through the necessary middlewares and then it reaches the appropriate controller. The controller then might validate the data, it can interact with the model to retrieve or store the data, and then finally it will prepare a response. This response is typically a view loaded with the data from the controller ready to be presented to the user. While views are common, Laravel can also return JSON or other types of responses for APIs. So to sum this all up, MVC essentially helps us to organize Laravel applications by separating logic, data, and presentation. This separation not only makes uh, the code cleaner and more modular, but it also uh, is easier to debug and scale. Each separate layer can then be further divided into sub-layers by using other patterns in addition to MVC. Validation, middleware, database abstraction, and so on are just some examples of such subdivision and is what Laravel implements to enhance the traditional model view controllers. Alright, so that's it for this episode. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what MVC is. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Until next time, happy coding.